I was at the first dedication at the request of President Kimball to serve as the doctor available if needed for any of the general authorities. I will always remember the feelings in the room as President Kimball dedicated that temple in 1974. A wonderful experience. I think we had something like 347,000 people walk through this temple when they had the open house. Almost without exception, they felt peace and they recognized that the Savior and His gospel brings peace. And uh, I think that will spread out among all of the people. You know, so much of what happens in the temple is symbolic, but there is one thing that is absolutely literal, and it's written on the outside of every single temple, House of the Lord. This truly is Jesus Christ's house. President Nelson is uh, just so remarkable. He's always loved the temple. Almost half the period he was in the Quorum of the Twelve, he had some responsibility for temples. I felt his dedicatory prayer was uh, just seminal, spiritual, powerful. Uh, when you when you listen to each part of it, he he uh, he gave a blessing that I that I hope will be studied and thought about and prayed about. Being able to look out at this large congregation as he taught and testified of Jesus Christ in the Savior's holy house and seeing the truthfulness of his words reflected in the eyes of not only men and women, but also precious little children. I'm so grateful to the presiding bishopric and to the temple department. They work so closely together and this temple has been renewed. The temple's different and we're different, but I still felt the spirit of President Gimbel with me. <laughs>